day YouTube. This is just a bit of a quick visual comparison between OpenSUSE uh, KDE, the Plasma desktop environment on the left, and OpenSUSE, the XFCE desktop environment on the right. Now, first of all, this is a roll-in release, both of these, so it's called Tumbleweed in quotes. But uh, having a look here, uh, let's start off with the start menus there and see what's going on. So a little bit similar, maybe a little bit more uh, basic or simplified, you could say, for the XFCE desktop environment. But uh, they are doing basically both the, the same thing here. So you've got your uh, uh, customizations or, or categorized, I should say, in terms of seeing your games, graphics apps, your internet apps, office apps, and so forth. All very much the same on the right-hand side here for XFCE there as well. Got GIMP, that's nice to see. Uh, internet apps, Firefox, uh, Pigeon, so I, uh, internet chat relay clients. So we've even got transmission, nice to see there. And a few Office apps left and right here as well. So we're running on the, uh, the LibreOffice suite, which they have chosen to go with there. Now, uh, if we were to go to the, the main desktop there and have a look at the uh, the context menu for the for the desktop itself, got a few extra little options here, a little a few bits and pieces here. But hey, you can create documents, create an empty file. You've got a few extra customizations, so you could even create a text file on Plasma or the KDE Plasma desktop environment, which is nice to see. You don't get that with every desktop environment, that is for sure, which is a, certainly a shameful shame. Uh, but yeah, hey, it works. That's great. And uh, we can also just right-click and open a terminal there as well, which is nice. Although, did I see that there? Can I open a terminal? No, I can't seem to. Not at the drop of a hat there, so that's a bit annoying. But hey, Control Alt T will do that there as well. Uh, let's have a look uh, a little bit further in. So the the file manager. So KDE Plasma is using the Dolphin file manager, uh, which is really synonymous with the Plasma desktop environment. And then if we were to say jump to the XFCE variant here, we are running on the Thunar file manager. A nice little lightweight file manager there as well. But you can see they've got the same fi files and folders, little different customizations in terms of the icons and the color accents, the tones there. But uh, right click and uh, we can open a terminal here. I just really want to see the option to open a terminal there. That is actually a little bit upsetting. Oh, there we go, actions. So it's under the action setting. It's an extra step, not a big fan of that, but hey, it exists and that's the main thing there. Uh, last but not least, uh, let's have a look at uh, the, the RAM on boot up. So a basic RAM comparison uh, here, just to see what's going on in terms of, so, so nothing's really booted up in the background, except for the operating system itself, just to see what's happening here. So the KDE, or the Plasma Desktop Environment version, running on 640 megabytes of RAM on boot up. So not perfect, but not bad, not great. Same thing could be really said for the XFCE desktop environment, a more simplified desktop environment, running at a little bit less, maybe almost up to 100 megabytes less, so 560 megabytes of RAM on boot up. So it's, uh, yeah, a little bit less uh, for sure. If uh, Always take this into account if you're looking at using it on an, uh, some older hardware, be it a netbook, a notebook, an older you know, first generation i7 if you've still got one of those hanging around. But uh, that's pretty much it, guys. Uh, thanks for watching. Please leave a comment, subscribe, hit that like button, and I do hope to see all of you guys there in the next one.